Hi, everyone. I'm really excited to be here. Hello, Fluent. My name is Hector. I'm with IFWI, and um, I'm going to talk a little bit about effective dependency management in JavaScript, also known as the five traits of well-managed JavaScript. So let's get started. Um, if you've been working in JavaScript for a while, your dependency graph probably looks a little bit like this, probably hundreds of files, all interconnected and dependent on each other in their own ways. And let's see what kind of problems can happen if we don't manage this properly. So let's say you're building a new page and you uh, realize, hey, I could totally reuse that widget from the last project. So you pull it into your page, you wire it up, and you load it up in your browser. You start clicking around, and then all of a sudden, boom, everything explodes. You've got reference errors. You've got type errors. Everything's all of a sudden undefined. What's going on? This used to work. Why is it not working all of a sudden? So this leads us to our first trait of well-managed JavaScript. Dependencies are always declared. It doesn't matter if it's a uh, common library you use everywhere or it's just a one-time script. Always declare your dependencies. It saves you a lot of headache in the future. Definitely don't like exploding code. So, But what about all the third-party libraries? I mean, you've got Angular UI, for example, that needs, to, uh, needs Angular in order to run. What thing you don't want to do is update that third-party code yourself. That's boring. It's tedious. It's error-prone. And as soon as you do an upgrade, you're going to find yourself going through that same tedious, boring process all over again. I mean, come on. We're engineers. We have better things to do with our time, right? So um, one thing that you can do to make this a lot easier is to shim those dependencies. All dependency managers have the ability to shim uh, code that doesn't explicitly require its dependencies. And this is a really great way to solve the third-party plugin problem. It keeps things working, and that way you don't have to modify that code yourself. All right, so let's look at another example. Let's say you're building this nice little counter, and it works really well on this friend request tab. And you, uh, you want to reuse it in other contexts. And uh, how, how do you set this up so that it can be reused without um, running into issues? The easiest thing you can do is just break it up into two separate files. In your counter file, you would have the definition, basically a class or a function. And then in your friends JS, you would import that file and attach it to the DOM and do whatever you need to do. So trait number three is definitions are separate from executions. And this helps make sure your code is reusable. And a nice little bonus is that your code is now much more easier to test. And you guys are all unit testing your JavaScript, right? Cool. So um, another thing to keep in mind when it comes to the web is that um, the web is asynchronous in nature, including the loading of scripts. So you want to make sure your dependencies are handled in this fashion where your code is executed in a callback instead of trying to execute and use all the dependencies immediately. So I want to point out that a lot of dependency managers will manage this for you and add the callbacks for you, like Browserify does that. Um, but under the hood, everything is happening asynchronously. So you want to keep that in mind. Make sure that if, even if you're going to build your own dependency manager, Treat it like it's being done asynchronously, and have a callback to execute your code once the dependencies are loaded. So let's talk a little bit about the global environment, or rather the JavaScript global environment. So one thing you don't want to do is pass around your dependencies via the global scope. Not only does it pollute it, but it can cause a lot of problems down the road. For example, you may end up with exploding code all over again. And the reason why this can happen is that um, if your dependencies are available globally, there's a good chance that you can, it makes it easy to ignore the dependency manager and just access the globals directly. And so trait number five, modules do not rely on global variables. Instead, use private variables, um, pass them around via return statements. It makes things a lot easier down the road, and, and it kind of enforces that all the dependencies are actually declared. So one of the benefits of having well-managed JavaScript are um, modules can easily be shared across multiple contexts, multiple pages. The dependency graph is much more manageable. Code is now explosion resistant, which is what we all love. And uh, here they are, the five traits of, of uh, well-managed uh, JavaScript. Um, keep this in mind next time you're working on a JavaScript project. And you may find that uh, dependency management in JavaScript really isn't so difficult after all. So thank you. Come check us out at ifwe.co. Follow us on Twitter at ifwe.